My name is Angela Hazen, and I'm an art major with an emphasis in sculpture. My main source of income is truck driving, and I have a transportation company. It's a bit of a struggle um, to keep up with all that and school, but yeah, I have a trucking company, which I, I love to do. And then I also uh, have a t-shirt business and sign business, and does look, I do several things, uh, actually, photography also. Um, so that's another like hobby business for me right now. I love to be healthy and um, I try my best to stay healthy. So a lot of the stuff I've done has been geared towards like foods or the stuff in foods that makes us ill, like high fructose corn syrup. Um, I did a couple art pieces on that sculpturally where I made a whole plate of food, actually two plates of food made out of candy, made to look like steak and mashed potatoes and gravy and like buttered um, carrots and celery, and um, but it's all made out of candy. And we actually sat down and consumed it. When I found out I had breast cancer, I found out it was stage zero cancer, so I didn't have to go through chemo or radiation. So I was very fortunate in that, that aspect. So I really want to push the preventative maintenance um, that we can do and do mammograms, which that's how I caught mine. Um, very early, it was very small. <clears throat> And so putting out a story about being prevent, you know, being aware of your body and getting yourself checked. Um, so I, I don't really like to write or um, talk too much. I'm not much of a talker, but I felt with my artwork, I could tell a story. Um, so what I did was did a mold and a cast right after my first biopsy, um, which confirmed my cancer. And I have done a mold and a cast each after each surgery and to tell the story. So right now I have six castings um, and I have three more that I'm going to produce this semester. So this will be incorporated in my last semester too. Um, I actually have molds of just my breasts, not my whole torso, that will set inside these hands. So it'll show like the weight that is placed on people. I met Angie through Seen and Heard Community Theater. Uh, and then I came here and I'm like, oh hey, I know you. Uh, her artwork, primarily, she's got great attention to the idea, staying true to her idea. Um, good execution of form, good attention to detail. She's just always been pretty good about having a unified idea that conveys exactly what she means it to, which is fun to watch. I'd love to do grad school and be able to teach college level art. And, but as of right now, I'm actually starting at uh, Artisan Forge today and I'm excited to build big sculptures. That's been my dream. Preventive maintenance is very important to me and being healthy. So I strive for that and I want to put out that message to people.